Hello everybody, my name is Elisa, welcome or welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm here for a sort of new video like a yarn haul or crafty haul, crafty things related and, and so on. Um, so a little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning, as you may know or if you've watched my latest video which was I think more than a month, a month and a half ago, I took some time off from YouTube because uh, I came back from the Netherlands to Italy, so right now I'm in my room here in Italy and um, probably I'm a bit rusty, like it's been a long time since the last time I spoke in front of a camera, so I don't know, please forgive me, bear with if I'm just a bit rusty and words don't immediately come to mind. Um, so yeah, for today I have a sort of yarn haul because in the last uh, month and a half, two months, I've visited a lot of places, so I have a lot of souvenir skeins uh, and also I have some purchases, some yarn purchases and I really want to share them with you. Uh, something that I was talking about in the in my previous video is the fact that when I buy yarn I usually do that with uh, um, uh, very intentionally, like I usually buy yarn with a project already in my mind because I don't want to like impulsively buy something that I like. I prefer, I feel much more satisfaction when I buy something that I really love and that at the same time I know what I'm going to do with it. Um, so yeah, I, I have some um, for today's video, I have some new skeins and balls of yarn that I want to show you. Uh, and one of them is for, um, like, a, let's say, a specific yarn is for a very special project that I'm very uh, fond of and I'm very excited about. And after that, I, I will show you also one other addition to my Crafty Corner, which I haven't bought, but... Um, yeah, it's an addition, so why not? So um, I think that for the future you could expect from me these kind of videos every time I will have to show you some yarn acquisitions because I don't really like to put them into podcast episodes. I prefer to keep podcast episodes just for, you know, finished objects and works in progress. So yeah, let's start with this. Um, so... For each yarn that I bought, I will show you. I will tell you why I bought them, why I bought them, and uh, yeah, like what I want to do with them. I think. So we, I think that we can go chronologically. And first of all, I will show you something that I bought when I was um, back in the Netherlands. When I was back in the Netherlands, I visited Den Haag which is a beautiful, beautiful city, very nice and yeah, like very Dutch, I would say, but with a lot of like nice streets and uh, houses and buildings and so on. And I was, and when I was there, I went, of course, to Cross and Woods, which is a beautiful yarn shop. And I suggest you go visit that yarn shop when you have the possibility. When I was there, um, it was super nice, but um, there was one thing that really caught my eye because it is not that easy to find this yarn in Europe. And uh, I bought, I, I've already sh mm, put, I have already, um, I've already made a post on Instagram and you probably have already seen these two skeins, but yeah. Like, I bought the Exmoor Sock 4-ply by um, John Arbon Textile. And yeah, John Arbon is almost impossible to find uh, in Italy, but in general in, in Europe. So when I saw these, uh, and when I um, saw that these two skeins were on sale, like, I knew they were mine. <laughs> of course, I couldn't let li I couldn't leave them there. Um, so yeah, I bought these two skeins. Um, my idea was to make 
socks of course and uh, um, I immediately thought about the Petal Drops uh, socks by uh, Handmade by Florence if I'm not wrong I hope I'm not like uh, saying the name wrong but I think it's the Petal Drops socks uh, because I really love Florence's uh, like design style when it comes to socks and design choices when it comes to socks of course she has like done uh, she has published a lot of videos on her YouTube channel about socks uh, and I really like following them even if I'm not a huge sock knitter like I think that my sock knitting mojo is very um, let's say Sometimes it's very shallow, um, yeah, we can say that, but some other times I really want something small and portable and of course socks are just perfect. So I bought these um, at Cross and Woods. The um, um, one skein is 50 gram and per 50 gram you get 200 meters. Uh, it's machine washable. Uh, and it says that uh, embracing the characteristics of our local Exmoor sheep as a durable machine washable yarn in an array of North Devon inspired shades. So the shade here is uh, Fuzzpig and uh, yeah, the yarn spec. So the gauge is 30 stitches per, ten, uh, 30 stitches, uh, per 42 rows in 10 per 10 centimeter gauge. And the recommended needles is 2.5, so perfect for socks. Um, so the yarn to the touch is very, uh, it's still a bit rustic, but it's not the um, scratchier, uh, scratchiest yarn I've ever bought. So I think I will be okay, even if I'm a bit sensitive uh, when it comes uh, to socks. Um, but yeah, I think these will make beautiful socks. There was actually a very limey color of these yarn, but unfortunately they had only one skein left and I really want to have socks, a pair of socks. And I don't like shorties, so yeah, I went for these. Um, and I'm very happy I ca and I can't wait to uh, like to do something with them even if at the same time I love watching them so yeah and then um, so this this is my first acquisition and after some time um, after I went to Den Haag it was time to come back in Italy and in order to come back in Italy we took the train from Amsterdam to Paris and then from Paris to Milan but when I was in Paris I was able to visit another yarn shop which was Little Weasel and I really recommend the shop because it has a mm, beautiful selection of yarn you can find also like Filcolana which is not easy to find in like southern Europe I think that in Italy we don't have any like shop which sells Filcolana. Um, but when I was there, I found another sock yarn and I was just like struck by the color. And let me show you, this is the yarn. As you can see, it's very drapey and it's super soft. Um, it's super, I don't know, like, it's like a cloud, I would say, and it's the Soxia by Kupnitz. It's the, um, I think it's, yeah, it's a very thin yarn because there are two version, versions of this yarn. One is the um, uh, fingering, like this one that I bought, and the other one is the DK version, but I prefer this one. Um, and it's very fine, it's very thin, uh, so... Um, yeah, but I didn't notice when I bought it. I was just uh, struck by the color. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the um, specifics. So it is 75% fine, fine superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. Uh, the recommended needle size is 2.25 millimeter needles. And uh, for a 50 gram skein, you get 
212 meters and actually I bought two skeins but I've already casted some I've already cast something on with with this I've cast on the mountain walk socks by again handmade by Florence um, and I really love that pattern I think that this yarn is perfect because it's super soft it has a very nice stitch definition I think and the mountain walk socks are ribbed socks with a full cable detail with four cable repeated on all the socks uh, all the socks so I think that having a yarn with uh, a very nice stitch definition is crucial for having a wonderful pair of socks um, so yeah and about the color it's just super nice the color is um, the 117 called Almondine and the gauge is approximately nine stitches per inch, which would be nine stitches per two point per two point five centimeters, which means uh, thirty six stitches per ten centimeters. If I did it, okay, like maths was in my I don't know cup of tea when I went to high school. So yeah you find all the right details or all the things written down below. Um, so yeah, my sock adventure is beginning. Um, I really like this color because it really gives me autumn vibes uh, and even if here at home, uh, well, <laughs> it has been very sunny and very hot. Like, not in the last few days, in the last few days it has been super rainy and I love that. Give me those autumn vibes, I cannot wait for them. Um, yeah, I really needed some fall and some autumn. Um, I'll use those two words. I'm talking about autumn slash fall because actually I learned a little bit of British English and American English when I was at university and at school, so my mind is just going crazy but yeah I really needed some autumn vibes in my wardrobe anyway like. so yeah this makes me think about pumpkins um, so yeah and then I want to show you something else that I bought and this time we have a sweater quantity um, so when I came back I don't know but a few weeks ago, I think, I don't know if you follow uh, Valentina of My, My Ivory Room uh, on Instagram, but if you do not, you should, because she's wonderful and she always gives me um, great ideas and suggestions for uh, patterns and, uh, you know, beautiful yarns that I would love to try and so on. So go check out her profile. But she's organizing and she's hosting a cow for the Euro sweater by Agionitz or Agionitz. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But um, so yeah, I wanted, I really wanted to participate to that cow because uh, I fell in love with the pattern as soon as it came out and uh, I don't have anything similar in my wardrobe uh, but I didn't really have the yarn in my stash so I thought of buying the yarn but I was really on a budget so I went to my uh, local town market uh, and there there's uh, this man who sells yarn and he sells yarn at very good prices and uh, it's beautiful usually he has beautiful yarns for example he also have Cardi has Cardiff cashmere uh, which is not like cheap yarn but still for a local town market having Cardiff cashmere is something like huge wow uh, that's amazing and um, so I went there and uh, I didn't buy yarn for the age of knits Euro sweater actually because I saw uh, this yarn let me show you I hope that these camera that my phone actually picks up the right color but this is um, by a yarn brand which is an Italian yarn brand, yarn brand and it's Mondial and uh, this yarn is called uh, 
Australia and it's 100% new wool um, and it's super wash. On a, with a 50 gram ball you get 110 meters and the gauge on 4.5 millimeter needles is 21 stitches per 28 rows. So I saw this yarn and I know that the gauge is absolutely wrong for the Eurus sweater but I decided to buy it anyways also because the uh, owner of that shop in the um, in my town market um, was offering me a discount so I bought 14 balls of this yarn for just 35 euros and I couldn't believe it like a sweater quantity for just 35 euros I think that if you went to Zara you wouldn't be able to find a sweater for just 35 euros so I bought 14 balls of this yarn and just then I just came home I swatched is my swatch it's a very small swatch but don't worry uh, it's already washed and blocked and of course my swatch is too small like I have too few stitches and rows to do an Eros sweater but then I realized one thing that I have one I realized that I have one pattern that is perfect for this gauge which is I think 22 stitches per something like 28 cent, uh, rows and it's the zipper sweater light men version because I, I have already knit that sweater for my boyfriend uh, and so I thought like that it would be would have been super nice to have the same sweater just in two slightly different color because his sweater is like in a very chocolatey brown and this color I don't know I bought it and I thought it was a very nice beige a very nice like light brown uh, but then when I'm knitting these in my in my bedroom uh, which is a like a sort of attic with uh, a wooden roof so it's it has very like warm light um, this seems gray and I'm very worried because I don't like to wear gray like I never wear gray unless it's like a sweatshirt unless it's like something that I wear in the house and I don't really want that so I'm hoping that first of all that these that my phone picks up the right color of this and I'm still seeing it like it seems brown to me it seems beige to me but um, yeah I hope it's beige otherwise I don't know if I will ever be able to wear this and I'll probably I don't know I'll give that it's 35 euros maybe my mom would love that one other thing is that my gauge was still a bit too small also for the uh, zipper sweater by Bettini of course so um, I just uh, sized up so I'm knitting a size small of the man version instead of an extra small and it should be fine I should have um, according to my calculations which like I'm not good at maths but yeah uh, according to my calculation I should have perfect 20 centimeters of positive ease which is the exact um, the exact uh, uh, positive ease suggested by the pattern so I'm pretty confident that this is gonna work and yeah the yarn is very soft uh, um, even if it's super wash I think that I do not have a very like problem I don't have problems of growing out I don't have like it didn't like grow enormously during the wash um, so I'm pretty happy with my purchase and I'll let you know how this will become probably this is a yarn bread that you've never heard heard of but like I live here in Italy and I want to use yarns from Italian brands and companies because it's what is what's easier for me to to get uh, and of course I'm interested in trying other like brands coming from especially northern Europe because they're not widely available here but I also enjoy to work with what I have and talking about yarns coming from northern Europe I have I don't know 
probably the most exciting purchase I've ever made, yarn related, but probably in my entire life. Um, so yeah, because, uh, let me, let me start. Um, I will graduate in like two months, no less, oh my god, one month and a half or something like that. And that's crazy, like, um, it's been two years, uh, more than two years, more or less, uh, and I'm doing this master's degree, which is my master's degree in arts museology and curatorship, and I really love that. And one thing about Italy is that your graduation day is something super special, like, you wear your best clothes, and you have that, like, a crown uh, which is uh, yeah like it's a big party and I'm not a very party person let's say but still I wanted to have something special for that day and usually girls wear a sort of suit like with um, a blazer a shirt and then nice pants and high heels and I'm really not like that like I do never I never wear high heels I do not like blazers on me and so yeah so I was looking for something else and then I had like I don't know the craziest and best idea of my life at the same time which is like I need myself a mamba sweater by Ulla Knitwear. Um, Ulla Knitwear is a pretty new and upcoming designer and I think she's from Norway and I'm following her, I've been following her for quite a long time and I really um, like all of her designs, the look of all of her designs, but I've never tried knit any one of them. So I thought that this was the perfect occasion because I wanted something special and her mamba dress is something really special both because of the yarn and also because of the pattern because I've never tried knitting myself um, a dress so at the beginning I was trying to substitute the yarns that she was using because uh, she's using like alpaca 2 and alpaca 1 by Isa Hair Yarn and it's very expensive yarn but then I ask myself, okay, how much would you spend if you had to buy like a shirt, a new shirt, a new blazer, new pants, new shoes, definitely a lot. So why don't you spend a lot on yarn, which is something that you really enjoy and you will have a beautiful dress and you will have fun knitting your dress. So yeah, I bought a lot of Isa hair yarn for the first time in my life because I've, I had never tried working we is a hair yarn and I'm guys I'm so pleased with that but first of all let me show you the yarn I bought so I bought nine skeins of alpaca 2 in this beautiful colorway I don't know if you can see all the like all the shades and all the different colors on this skein it's just so beautiful the colorway is the colorway thyme and uh, this yarn, Alpaca 2, is 50% uh, alpaca and 50% wool. And for 50 grams, you have 250 meters. Uh, it's just the softest, but this is exactly what you would expect from an alpaca and wool mix. And then to pair with it, you had two choices. So you could choose between mohair and alpaca 1. So I had already like touched the, the fluff of the Hisair mohair when I was in Copenhagen and I knew it was wonderful but at the same time it's really expensive. Um, so in the end I decided to go for Alpaca 1 which is here, always in the colorway time. And this time you have a 100% alpaca yarn and for 50 gram, uh, grams you have 400 meters. And uh, yeah, again, the, all the shades and the heathers, heather of these, of these beautiful yarns, you can see them together. And yeah, I bought six skeins of this. It was a huge purchase, purchase for me, but I'm just so happy and I've already swatched for this. Here's my swatch. 
swatch is perfect uh, like my gauge is perfect with uh, on four millimeter needles i got the perfect gauge of 24 stitches per 27 rows so yeah and i'm just so excited for this cast on like i cannot wait it's probably my favorite yarn ever no also like the manclopis by wool dreamers is one of my favorite yarns even if like you know it's very different you have this beautiful yarn this beautiful opaque yarn and the manclopis is unspun but at the same time is like one of the softest things in the world so yeah I'm just so happy. I'm super excited. So if you wanna see my progress on my mamba dress, you should definitely like subscribe to, the, to this channel or also go on Instagram and follow me at Elisa Knitting Stories. And yeah, I promise I'll share a lot of this project because I'm already in love with the yarn and I cannot believe that I bought this. Actually, it was a gift from my mom. Uh, so thanks mom <laughs> because otherwise I don't know if I I don't know probably I wouldn't have purchased that but yeah I'm just so happy and I cannot wait to graduate just to wear my dress <laughs> and so yeah okay these were my yarn purchases yarn acquisitions uh, and I hope you enjoyed this format like I prefer this so much because uh, you know, it feels weird to talk about yarn acquisition sometimes, but in this way I can keep it very intentional and I can keep my focus on buying things that I know that I really enjoy on yarn, you know, I know that I will buy yarn that I really use. Uh, so yeah, you can write down in the comments which is the yarn that I bought that you are most curious about. And of course, you'll hear more about these skeins in the future because I'll share the projects I'll do with them because they all have a project in mind. Uh, and uh, I hope you're not hearing like background noises. I'm wearing my earphones and it should work. Okay, so for the last segment, the last little bit of this um, episode, like slash yarn hole or crafty corner update yes we can call it crafty corner update actually i have something super special to share with you uh, which is a new addition to my crafty corner and um, so my grandmas were very crafty exactly uh, like me they used to crochet they used to uh, knit and also to um, sew and one of my grandmas have has a sewing machine that she's not really using because she's old she's very tired and so on but i really don't want it to go to waste and not be used so i oh wait so i got my grandma's sewing machine okay i put it down here this is it's very heavy um, so this yarn is a singer tradition and I'm learning how to use it you know here's the like instruction uh, here are the instructions um, it's all in Italian actually I think but of course it's not a problem like it's my mother tongue um, okay <laughs> and yeah I'm learning how to use it for the moment I know how to to like straight lines and how to thread my machine but um, I would like to try to do something very easy and simple for example I would love to make my own project bags for my knitting related stuff and for my knitting projects and I would like to start with like knit, uh, sewing my myself a, a pyjama maybe or something that you know you don't care if your pyjama is like a bit wonky or something like that so yeah if you have like tutorials or patterns that you would love to suggest me I'm a complete beginner but I would appreciate this so much because like I know that a new obsession is is I don't know 
is beginning. Yeah, because when I tried for the first time to uh, thread the machine and then to go on a straight line, when I made my first straight line, I was so excited exactly as the first time I knit the swatch with, uh, you know, knitting needles and yarn. So I know that a new obsession is becoming reality. And yeah, I'll probably use this one um, much more during the uh, summer because of course I love knitting and there's nothing better than knitting in autumn and winter. But in, I think that this machine uh, is going to be my, fir my best friend during Italian hot summer so yeah okay let me move my sewing machine okay there you go okay so i think that this was all for these um, crafty corner uh, acquisition update i think i'll call these videos like that I hope you enjoyed this new format, I really like it because of course as I told you uh, I can keep it more intentional. Just tell me what are, you most, what are you most excited about and if you like this, this new format of course. And for the rest um, maybe in the next uh, video I will have a podcast episode showing you everything I knit in the last month and a half when I was away from YouTube. And of course, I will update you on all my whips. Um, if you want to see something specific in my next video, please write it down below. And I was thinking about doing maybe a Q&A over on Instagram. So if you want to know more about me, my knitting journey, anything uh, about, I don't know, my life here, just go follow me there and I will have a box in the next few days where, you, where you'll be able to ask me some questions. I have a lot of free time now because I've just, uh, you know, completed my thesis. So I'm ready to focus more on YouTube and I cannot wait to publish more videos. So thank you so much for watching. Happy knitting and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.